I get to see many patients who are confused whether they have fatty chest or they have gynecomastia or the glandular enlargement. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Ranshu Mishra. I am a board certified cosmetic and plastic surgeon practicing in Dubai. And today in this video, I will be talking to you about the differences between gynecomastia and fatty chest, which is also known as pseudogynecomastia. Coming on to the causes of the two conditions. Normally, fatty chest or pseudogynecomastia is seen in people who are obese, who are not following a healthy lifestyle, they do not follow a regular exercise regime. As a result of which, the fat gets distributed over the chest area, giving it a appearance of a female-like breast. Whereas in another condition that is gynecomastia, it is generally seen whenever there are hormonal imbalances taking place in the body that is during the adolescence, during old age, when the estrogen level rises. As a result of which, the glandular tissue enlarges, giving it the appearance of a puffy nipple. The other causes of the gynecomastia can be because of the kidney disease or a liver disease or it can be because of a prolonged use of certain medications. So how can you differentiate whether you have a fatty chest or you have a glandular enlargement? So if you look yourself in front of the mirror and you see the distribution of the fat on your chest, in fatty chest you will see that there is a diffuse distribution of fat on the chest and it is not confined to the nipple areola complex. And if you palpate or touch the area, it will all feel soft, there will not be any nodularity or any firm appearance anywhere. Also, it is a painless condition, whereas if you have gynecomastia, uh, on palpation, you will see there will be a firm nodule which can be felt just under the nipple areola complex and normally the enlargement may be within the confines of the nipple areola complex or it may extend beyond the margins of the nipple areola complex as well. This gynecomastia may be associated with little pain on and off. So these are the basic differences between the two conditions. But if you are still confused about whether you have a fatty chest or you have gynecomastia, you can consult your plastic surgeon. Coming to the treatment of the two conditions, Gynecomastia uh, treatment basically entails liposuction and removal of the gland, that is gland excision. I have talked about the different grades of gynecomastia and their treatment in detail in my previous video. The link is given in the description box, you can check that out. Whereas in fatty chest or pseudogynecomastia, one should follow a healthy lifestyle, should follow a regular exercise regime, eat healthy, so that they can take care of their overweight and obesity but still if you are not able to get rid of the stubborn fat on your chest then liposuction can be done to get rid of that fat and to uh, give good contours to your chest now it is a very common myth people think that if they will do the upper chest exercises they can get rid of the fat in their chest I would suggest that if you have a fatty chest, you should go for those exercises like aerobics where there will be a generalized fat reduction in your body. Now, if you do only upper chest exercises, the muscles will become more toned, they will become thick. As a result of which the fat which is sitting on top of the muscle will be pushed outward by the toned muscle. Uh, therefore, it will not improve the situation, it might uh, make it worse. So you have to be very careful of what exercises you are opting for in order to reduce your fatty chest. I hope this video will be helpful uh, for you to understand the two conditions fatty chest and gynecomastia. To see the other cosmetic surgery related videos, you can subscribe to our channel and if you have any queries, feel free to contact us. Thank you.